guys, so today I'm going to do a May favourites video because I haven't done a favourites in a long time, I say this every single favourites, but I think from now on I will not be doing favourites every single month because I just don't have that many new products to show you guys every month and I hate to show you the same products every single time. So I'm going to start off with some uh, kind of beauty related. So I'm going to start off with this here, right? Okay. So I've got the Rich and Famous Body Wash from Soap and Glory and I don't really hear this one raved a lot which is kind of weird because I think this is definitely one of my top Soap and Glory products. I got it for my birthday from my two bandmates, thanks guys, um, and I wish this was raved about more because it smells like vanilla cookies slash vanilla shortbread, it's so, so good and when you put it on your body you just want to eat yourself really which isn't a good thing but oh my god i wish people would get this more often and it's so nice in the bath i just pump a load onto my hand slather it on me and then i'm constantly just smelling my body um it's got almonds oats and brown sugar in it and it's so good i then got this uh simple anti-blemish moisturizer i might have put this in a favorites before i'm not sure <laughs> but oh well um, I've been loving this this month. I haven't really got very many spots right now. I, I don't really get them too much unless I get them around my nose. Touch wood. Don't want stuff to happen. Um, but this just really mattifies my skin and makes it feel matte. And I like to put this around my nose and it just stops oil instantly. And I just really like to put this on before makeup um, sometimes just because it's so good, especially from going outside in the summer. Um, so I really like this. I've now got three makeup products and this is something that I've recently bought. I saw in the fro use these in one of her like um, drugstore videos, I think, drugstore makeup, and I really liked the look of it. I think it's so cute, it's just like a little round ball and you just apply it to your cheeks. Now this is my first blush thing that I've ever got. I never really felt like I needed blush because I just get red cheeks naturally and I just don't really feel like I need it. But I've really liked the look of these, they just look so cute, really small, compact. And I like, I think I'm going to prefer cream blushes because sometimes powder, if you have too much powder in your face it can look a bit like, mm. but now it's coming to summer. I think a cream blush would just add a natural highlight to your face and it's so so this is like quite nice and sheer as well so it's not gonna overpower and it's really easy to blend and I really like this. I've got it in the shade Rhubarb Crumble. There was like more of a apricot peachy shade and more of a kind of like darker pink than this but I really liked this it's kind of like a mixture of the two. I've also got this bronzer which I have used in my makeup tutorials before and I don't really tend to use bronze that much. Um, I say this bronzer is quite orange for me. Um, I think it is for a lot of people. I just really liked the fact that it looked like chocolate. So I got into the trap of buying it. I've been kind of more like trying it out. And, and recently I've been loving putting this on my face to give me that really natural tan glow because I did have a tan. But um, because I burnt myself, it kind of went all peely and it's, it's gone now, all, the, all of it's gone. So um, I've been really loving using this and just putting it like on the top of my cheekbones, down my nose, just the top of my forehead, where the sun would naturally catch. And I think this is really good at doing that. It adds the really nice kind of like shimmer. It has like little shimmers into it. Um, it just adds that really nice look. I think it's really good at doing that. Um, not so much contouring because it's quite orange. My last makeup favourite is the Super Size Collection Mascara. I haven't used this in a while and I found it like in my makeup bag because I was like, I want to see some of my old stuff. And I found it and oh my god, I can definitely tell that this is running out but that's why I love it. It's just coating my lashes so nicely. I'm definitely more of a length person than a volume eyes. I really like having long lashes and I'd rather they be all separated nicely than volumed and like a bit more clumped and stuff. So this is really good and because it's dry now it's not applying too much product and I think when it comes to the spring and summer I don't really like to wear loads anyway so this is just really perfect for now and yeah so I'll be sad when it runs out but at the moment because it is like coming to an end it's giving me a really nice coat on my lashes. I'm also going to throw in there guys my new phone because if you guys didn't see my previous video I mentioned about how my phone got stolen on holiday um, 
as I said, fortunately I was doing up green anyway. But it's just annoying when it has a lot of stuff on it. So yeah, um, I'm just going to throw my phone there. And I actually got this um, case. So I've got silver iPhone 6. And it's clear back. And then it's got this mint green edge. And the reason why I got it in mint is because my laptop case is in mint. I'll get it now actually. You see? I'm so proud of this. <gasps> they match. <laughs> and the reason why I got a silver because I know... I think a lot of people would choose gold. I really liked the gold before, but it was actually my friend in my media class um, that when she got her silver iPhone 5S, I actually really changed my mind and really liked the silver. And I thought as well, because my MacBook is silver, it like just like literally matches. It's just like a perfect combo. So that's what I did. So the songs I've been loving of the month are actually ones like I found years ago, probably about a year and a half ago, and the other one came out about the other week. The first one is Lauren Aquilina. I'm not sure how to say it. It's like it's like the Aquilina or Aquilina. I don't know, um, but she has such an amazing voice. There's two of her songs I like in particular, but the one I'm showing you today is the first song that I found of hers, and it's called Fools. Um, I will put her name here with the song name just in case you'd like to check it out because she is amazing. It's such a catchy tune. It brought me back loads of memories and like the fact that I know all the words. I'm just singing along to it. It's just such a sweet, pretty song. And the next one is a new one from John Newman. I don't know if many of you would have heard it because I'm subscribed to his Vivo channel. Um, so the song actually came into my subscription box. And it's not in the charts yet, I don't think. So I'm not sure if many people would have heard it yet. But it's called Come and Get It. It's such a good song. Please listen to it. It's so upbeat. I love his type of music. It kind of has like a jazz kind of like kind of style, but it's still quite poppy and upbeat. It's so, so good. It's such a catchy song. And I showed it to my sister and she loved it like that. The next thing I'm going to talk about is like, <laughs> I'm literally like, my heart is racing so fast. I'm just so excited about it and I'm talking way too fast for you guys to understand me right now. So um, I'm going to be talking about a TV series, <laughs> I wonder if any of you can guess what it is. So um, I was thinking about film TV, I haven't really watched a film recently that can stick into my mind. TV wise, um, I don't really tend to watch a lot of series because I feel like YouTube already takes up enough of my day, why do I need to watch series? My sister watches so many series and she's watched lots of them multiple times. Um, but for a long, long time I've been meaning to watch Pretty Little Liars, yes. And it was about, hmm, I'm going to say two weeks ago, um, probably about a week and a half ago actually, I started watching it. My sister was like, hey Kiana, do you want to watch the first episode of Pretty Little Lies with me? She's already watched it, she's already caught up and I wish I could be at her stage because she can actually watch season 6, whereas I can't, so yeah. Um, so it's about a week and a half ago, so I feel like I watched it really fast. I'm coming to the end of season 2 now, so I am watching it really, really quickly, but I'm just enjoying it so, so much. I think I'm on season 2, episode 18 or 19. Oh my god. It's literally like the best TV series ever. I don't really watch that many, but it's so, so tense. I don't want anyone to spoil it for me. I'm, I get so angry that people like spoil things for me. I've already had someone spoil Divergent for me. Thanks for that. You know who you are. Yeah, so I'm so excited, but I'm trying to like catch up quickly. So I'm quite happy of actually how much I've watched. If I think about it, I only started like a week and a half ago and I'm nearly on season three. So it's so, so good. It's so, you just want to know who A is. But then like, like A gets announced in season six, which is the season that just came out. And I'm like, do I want to rush through it that quickly? Cause it would just be over like that. And then I just kind of don't want it to end. But um, it's, it's an amazing series. And if you haven't watched it, please do. Um, I've been meaning to watch it for ages since I heard Gabby talk about it. Like when I first described to her like a year ago. So, um, yeah, and thank you, Maddie, my sister, for letting me watch it on your phone. Much appreciated, because it's changed my life. I've got so many YouTube videos to catch up now, like, Pretty Little Liars has overtaken 
my daily rota thing. And then as my last favourite I've got a YouTuber, um, I'm not sure how many of you would have heard her unless you watch gaming videos, I do like watching gaming videos I must say, um, but um, the person who I am going to show you is Stacy Plays. She is such a lovely person. The content that she does is so interesting. I love her Minecraft videos, which is what she specifically like puts content for. Uh, but she does do like little mini games and stuff as well sometimes, which is more like a series. So it's not like she'll play one game that you can get free online. They're more like an actual game with a story. But I love her Minecraft videos so much. She puts in little stories. I love her dog craft, where she has to try and collect all the dogs and she's got her own little like town thing. She makes the buildings and it's so cool. Um, she does, yeah, awesome things. But my favorite series that I've been loving ever since it came out was Mind Clash, which is kind of like a collaboration that she does with Grazer. Um, I don't actually subscribe to him, but I do find him funny and I love their videos together. They just have such a great humour together and basically um, they're in like this world, just random world, and they have to do challenges against each other, they do a different challenge every episode and it's just so much fun, like every single time I always want Stacey to win and although Grazer wins more I still always go for Stacey just because, you know, I'm on her channel. But um, I just love that series so much and that's what I want to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's the sun and the clouds again. Hey ho, I can't do anything about it unless I have like a massive blower hiding the clouds. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. You know you want to. And I will see you guys soon for another video. Bye! So we, so we, I, um, and smudge it. Now this is my flirt. So the one that came out about a year and a half ago was, um, was the one that came out about a year and a half ago was a couple months after I got my um my old i. So I've got two songs I've been loving this month. The first one is one that I got. The first one that I love. Oh my god, I really can't figure out. I'm talking so fast, I'm running out of air. Are you into ghost hunting? No, I hate horror films and thrillers and stuff like that. Not because I find them scary. I mean, sometimes something will creep me out, like if it's dark at night time. Um, but I don't really get scared that easily just because I just don't believe